Hello, I'm going to find exact values of each expression using reference angles. And starting with part A, I'm going to draw the angle. A 315 degrees angle will be starting at the positive x axis going in counterclockwise direction and it will stop somewhere here forming our angle. Now this reference angle is the angle that formed between the terminal side of the angle and the x-axis. So this angle will be equal basically how much we are short to the full revolution. 60 minus 315, 45 degrees. And we're going to draw this little triangle here. So our sine function equals, oops, sorry, sine function of angle equals the opposite side of the triangle over hypotenuse. So if if we have 45 degrees and a 90 degrees, the only thing that's left is 45 degrees because some of the angles in the triangle is 180 degrees always. So because both angles are the same, that means that these sides of the triangle are the same. Let's just take it, make it equal one. Using Pythagorean theorem of a triangle, we find that hypotenuse square equals square of each sum of squares of each side. So, that hypotenuse square equals 2, and hypotenuse will equal, because we measure just the distance, it's going to be positive square root of 2, and we're going to neglect the negative. So, now we know opposite side of the angle, and the hypotenuse, and then we get our answer. Sine of 315 degrees equals, um, because this part of the um, diagram here is a negative side of the y-axis. Basically, this is going to be negative one. So we just take the ratio of negative one and square root of two, and we get one of square root of two. We can also rewrite this expression just to get rid of the square root of in radical, and we're gonna get this square root of two over two. And this is the A part solution of this problem. Thank you. In part B, we're going to be finding cosine of 480 degrees. When it's over 360 degrees, we can just subtract that full revolution 360 from 480. In this case, and we're going to be left with 120 degrees. So, basically, we're going to go one full revolution, and then we're going to be stopping it somewhere, like right here, 120 degrees or 480. <coughs> and that will form another reference uh, angle that is going to be 60 degrees. Now, 
cosine function of some angle theta equals adjacent side of the triangle over hypotenuse. Now, if we form our triangle here, we we pretty much don't know neither side. But if we take this side and just extend it to the other side of the triangle and then draw hypothetical another triangle, this will, because this both, side, both sides are the same, so these angles are going to be the same. 60 degrees and some of these angles will give us 120 and we know that in every triangle some of the angles are 180 so we, the only thing that's left is another 60 degrees angle <coughs> this kind of triangle is called isosceles triangle that means that all the sides are the same. So this side, let's just pretend, because we took two small sides, say both of them were one, so this side will be two, so is this one, so is this one. So we have basically one, but it's left from y-axis, it's going to be negative one. So that leaves us with cosine of 480 degrees equals negative 1 over 2, or hypotenuse. And that's the B side. I mean, B part of this problem. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.